Hello, it's Wednesday at 6. I'm Pam Royal. Hello, I'm Kenny Toll. Welcome to your midweek look around. Opposition is growing to plans for two large wind farms in the Solway Firth. One is near the existing Robin Rigg site, the other near the Isle of Whithorn. Well, locals there say it's so close to the land, it's wrong to call it an offshore wind farm. And they formed an action group to fight the plans. John Beaver reports. Love it or hate it, the Robin Rigg wind farm dominates the Solway Firth. With plans to significantly increase the number of offshore turbines, it's a site that will become more common. There are currently plans for extra turbines next to Robin Rig, as well as further along the Solway here in Wigtown Bay. Although still in the early stages, locals think the plans have been rushed in without any consultation. There are fears that this is what it could look like. Now, those who live here are preparing for a fight. They've set up the Keep Wigtown Bay Natural Group and opposition is mounting to the development, which is just one and a half miles from the shore and around two miles from a national scenic area. A lot of people around here have, um, let's call them nature-related or nature-based tourism um, businesses. Um, so this will have a serious impact on those. There'll be a serious impact on house prices. And of course, that has a knock-on effect on other businesses in the area, estate agents, um, solicitors. Um, it, it all links up. With tough targets in place to cut carbon emissions by 2020, the Scottish Government are keen to get more turbines in place relatively soon. But they and the developers won't get it all their own way. Wind farms divide opinion like almost nothing else. On one hand, it's the need for clean, renewable energy sources. On the other, it's the effect it has on the local environment. Those who don't want this development to go ahead say it's too close to the land it will have too big an impact on the scenery and too big an impact on the economy. Essentially we're being told that wind turbines, wind farms offshore are the only game in town. And that's the point that uh, I would like to make and I think that that would resonate with the overwhelming majority of the people in this part of the world. Of course we need renewables, and, but why not look uh, in this location at more appropriate forms of renewables such as tidal. The newly formed group are meeting next Wednesday at 7 o'clock in the Wigtown County building and they're ready Borg, for a fight. Yeah, Borg, John Beaver, uh, Isle of Whithorn. So plans there have been met with strong opposition among communities living in the Wigtown Bay area and local politicians also have some reservations too. Yes, earlier we spoke to MSP Alistair Morgan about his concerns and we began by asking him what he thought the impact would be on the area. I think the main impact of the proposed Wig Wigtown wind farm would be in visual impact because this, unusually for a wind farm, is located very, very close to shore, some parts of it as close as two miles. And I think that can't but detract from the, view, the lovely views that we have of Wigtown Bay from the coast. And with uh, tourism being the second biggest industry in Dumfries and Galloway, I do think we have to be very concerned about the possible impact of that. Now, am I right in thinking, though, that you did support the Robin Rigg wind farm, so, so why not this one? Oh yes, I'm not one of these people who think wind farms are the work of the devil at all. I think they're very appropriate, they're very necessary if we've got going to tackle climate change. And it's really a matter of visual impact in this case. I don't think the Robin Rigg wind farm had nearly the same impact. It's much further offshore. It's, you know, it's not all that visible at times, depending on the weather. And it, it, it is in the, eye, in the eye of the beholder, certainly. But my judgment is that Robin Rigg Wind Farm was perfectly acceptable. I think the extension of it is going to probably be acceptable as, weather, as well. But Wigtown is just far too close to the shore. It's of a different order of magnitude altogether. Mr Morgan, will you be taking the matter then into the Scottish Parliament? Well, the way this works is this is an initial consultation. It's, the government has very much made it clear that this is a consultation. I've submitted my own views to the consultation, which are asking them to take out the Wigtown Bay proposal. I believe the local council in Dumfries and Galloway are doing the same th sort of thing. And what we need to see is how the government responds to that consultation. And being a listening government as well as a minority government, you know, the SNP has shown itself very willing to listen 
to, to people you know who wish to put their views forward. That's why we're having a consultation. This is not a done deal. Thank you very much for your time.